So, yeah, hey, we're talking about the turn. And um, as you can see, my favorite gadget, what most of you have seen in the turn video before, is my hula hoop tire. Yeah, I mean, this is an exercise you can brilliantly do at home in your living room. You put yourself in the middle of that um, hula hoop, you grip it from underneath, and all you do, you, you know, you, you widen your stance a little bit, and you try to rotate around your spine. And this is it. Just really try to keep yourself in the center of the tire. So it's like this and not move your arms because there you're cheating. There you're not really moving around yourself. So here we go. Shoulders back and forth. So this is the upright exercise and of course this helps you already. But of course the best one, what also makes up or clears your mind about the, the shoulder turn in the golf swing is, is if you turn yourself in the tire once it's bent down. So try not to get it upwards. You really stay down and get it into that turn. And I know many of you uh, responded to that video and said, I'm gonna get a hula hoop. So and I know a lot of guys from you at home, they're gonna have the hula hoop already standing there. So use it in the winter, it's a very, very good exercise. Another very good exercise you can do in, in your living room is um, an exercise for your elbows, for the connection of your arms. So I have two balls here, the impact balls, but I'm gonna use the bigger ones, and, or the bigger one. So I'm just gonna connect that in between my, my lower arms. And I'm just gonna grip my club. I don't need to have the full length of my club. So now all I do, I try to keep my, my arms connected, right? And of course, it's much easier if you don't wear a sweater, if you have just your arms on that ball. So this feeling you have to have, to have your elbows more connected to each other. And you can really do that well in your living room, right? Just get your elbows together. It's actually a little bit moving because of my sweater. Just really try to get this elbow connection going. So this is a fantastic and very exhausting, oh, you can hear my breath, a very exhausting exercise, um, even if it looks super, super easy. Um, for me, and I tried it out in my lessons, hitting balls with that, it is possible, but it is super, super difficult. So. For me, this tool is much better for dry practicing in your living room, in the gym, whatever. Um, and you don't necessarily have to buy that impact ball. You can also use a gymnastics ball, which is a little bit more flexible. You just put it, some kind of ball, you put between your arms and it should stay once you do your, your backswing. And that will really um, teach you how to connect your elbows. So one thing we shouldn't forget, we need to stretch, right? So um, I got a kettlebell here. Um, you can take some kind of, or any kind of weight, um, what actually pulls you towards the ground. So um, all you do, you close your feet as much as you can. Of course, if you stand wider, it's not as hard, but um, if you close your feet and get your legs straight, your hamstrings tight, um, and you just really slowly bend down, your chin goes towards the chest, and you get yourself bent down. And of course, if this is too easy, you can take it the other way around like this, and then it pulls you down, 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 down. So if you're down here, you can really feel it in your back extension here. And um, this is some really important muscle for the golf swing, and especially for your dress position, because if you're at a dress, um, you really want to have a straight back, which for most of you will feel it's actually a little bit more rounded and it's not too hollow back in here. You really want to have a straight back. And I have to say it from my side, if I stand like this and a straight back, I have to tilt my hip a little bit inwards. And this is something um, um, you can also practice, of course, at home to just to put it a little bit more inside. But this is where your uh, back extension comes into play. So it's very important to stretch that muscle, strengthen it, of course, but stretch it is super, super important. So now you have some exercises on your hand for your living room. Now I wish you um, a lot of fun practicing, of course, and let me know how you're doing. See you soon.